today, Finn Roo here. I've got two barrels. I'm going to be um, preparing them to plant two hop rhizomes in for this this year's crop. So um, hang about and I'll show you how I'm going to prepare them for planting it. Cheers. So what I've got is some linseed oil here, uh, raw linseed oil. That's what I'm going to use to um, preserve these, um, this wood and help it um, so it doesn't age and fall apart too quickly. So um, I'm going to use a brush to, to brush it in, and uh, or you could use a rag. I'll see how this goes. So I'll start on the inside and we'll see, see what happens. Outside here, give you a bit of a look. That, that'll absorb that in. The other thing that I, um, when I researched, I found out about is the um, when you put it on the bands here, it actually helps protect it from rust. So, um, and I have got another barrel around in the beer garden. The whole beer garden is going to be stripped down and uh, redone, so revamping it and. Uh, so this is sort of like the first part of it here. <coughs> really, so I'm going to tip this into a... Yeah, that's soaking in real good. In there. See that on the top? Yeah. That's good. I'll get on with it and we'll have a look later on. Cheers. Yeah, there's half of it. You can see half of it there I've done. Um, half there it's, it's going in really good it's coming up really nice you can see the red from the wine so I'll uh, yeah yeah it's coming up good
beautiful and smooth. Very easy to do, you just soak straight into the wood. Um, yeah, I just had a look and I thought I was leaning up against it with my shirt. <laughs> Put my on my shirt. See like that, that's really, really good. Going on great, beautiful. It comes up nice too. Not that like you'll see this, but I'm really, I'm going to do my, um, I'm going to make a, a bar leader out of the old um, barrel that I've got in the um, in the beer gun at the moment. I'm going to, um, yeah, I'll be using this stuff on it. Cheers. Okay, so I've just given uh, both barrels their second coat. So this is day three of the project. Uh, day one was drilling the holes in there, tidying them up. Get down there, Lou. And day two was um, putting the first coat of the linseed oil on, and so now I'm on day three, put the second coat on. And a couple of things I just want to mention. Um, if you have a look in here, um, in here, this this area in here um, acts like a kind of a, a reservoir. So you'll find that a lot of the oil will actually spill down and, and collect in this area. So you can actually bring it up and start painting it on there. Because obviously this part here is going to really need lots of protection. So, you know, as the day sort of wears on, you've, you've finished doing it. Um, just come over and just give it another, give it another top up. Um, that's one thing. So the more on the top, the better. So as I say, this so this area here acts like a reservoir and it, it'll puddle in there, um, but it should be absorbed tomorrow. The other thing I too that I've noticed is um, if you look along here, I don't know if you'll see it, but that clear line there, see that? That's oil. Look out, Lou. Good boy. That's oil there. Now that was going to seep. I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to brush it. I did just brush it then, but you can see that oil. It's just sitting on top of that band. It's on all the bands. If I just leave it, hopefully it'll just sink in behind uh, that band there. So I've also, as, you, as I said the other day, I've been um, putting some oil on the bands and then um, wiping it off. But this time today, I think I might just leave it. And uh, oh, the day's going so well. I'm so happy with these barrels. They look really, really good. And um, darkening up with each with both coats. I'm, I'm, I'll show you how much I've used. Uh, where's the... Here it is here. <clears throat> so for two half barrels, for two coats, I have used... There's still some in there. Let's have a look. You see? So I haven't used it all. There's still um, an inch and a bit in the bottom. Uh, so let's say, 30, let's say 40 mil in the bottom. Which is a bit more than an inch. And um, also... Let's not forget that I need to turn these barrels upside down and I need to um, oil underneath. I uh, nearly forgot about that. I was just sitting there having a beer. It's Father's Day today. And I'm um, sitting there having a beer and I thought, oh, what about underneath? I haven't done underneath. So tomorrow I think I may do that. I'll, when they dry it out, I'll tip them up and I'll give them a couple of coats underneath tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, we're not far away from getting these things done. I've still got another job to do on them, which is to put some gauze, some steel gauze um, or mesh, um, to protect the holes from stones getting clogged in there and falling out and blocking it up. So cheers. See what happens tomorrow. It's going really good. This uh, uh, wire mesh here, looks like it's one centimetre square, which is probably about a quarter of an inch. So I'm going in with on even four there and these scissors I thought I had some I had some tin snips but they were blunt and this pair of scissors I just tried and um, was doing the job so let's see get me doing that just cut it like that then I just cut this into three uh, one two three cut them got three holes here one Yep, and this one here. So I need uh, six, I need 12 all up. <clears throat> it's actually quite worked out quite well, see. Um, so they're going to go over the holes with a stapler. And I cannot form a stapler. One, two, three, four, five. 
Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And set. So I'm going to. Um, it's it's going to be stormy outside, so I won't do any more on this. I can't find the stapler, but I want to staple these in the bot on uh, over the on the inside of the pot, and so that'll keep the stones from falling down the holes and blocking it up. Uh, well, it'll help anyway with the drainage. So that's the plan. Um, so yeah, I'll see if I can find that staple and get into it uh, when I find it. Or otherwise, I'll just use some um, small nails and I'll knock them enough way and bend them over. That should be fine. <laughs> okay, see you soon. So you can see I've nailed that one in there. It's not too bad. That one's... Oh, so I've just bent the nails over. That one's not flash because you see I've got the square right in the middle of the hole. Um, same as that one. This one's better. See, I've got the cross sort of more in the hole. That one's better, you see that's what you want. And that one is so once I figured out what I was doing, have a look over here. This one here, so I've got the cross, just two nails bent over is holding it down. I couldn't find my stapler. See that and that's holding that's holding it solid enough. You can see here I've put one in that corner and one in this corner, sort of tight and nailed them over and that, that they that's not moving. The same as this one here, see I've got the nails in each corner and bent over outwards and that's the same, it's not gonna, it's not moving at all. So, um, they're all good, so that's what I've done. I've, uh, I've nailed them in and that's it for the day for me. So, tomorrow, depends on what the weather's like, supposed to be crap. G'day Finru here, how you doing? Um, cheers, I'm just having a wee dram today. Uh, just a little, what have we got here? A little blended malt, uh, blend, blended uh, whiskey by the name of Jewess. Very nice, cheers. Mm. I like it, I haven't got any beer going at the moment. Been a bit slack in my brewing, and that's fine. I'll be back into it very shortly. I've been doing other things, uh, as you see, so, just a recap on my um, on the project with the two half barrels that I'm going to be putting into the beer garden uh, to grow uh, to those uh, Fuggles hop vines. So all I just to show you, all I used was uh, all the tools I had. Well, obviously, I, I bought the two wine barrels. Um, so I got one of these. I've got a set of these um, these paddle blades, if that's what you call them, um, and just in my drill bit. Uh, just put them in my drill. Uh, very happy with my Black & Decker drill that I bought oh, a wee while ago now and uh, it's got the battery that interchanges with the school saw that I bought. Um, very, very good. Very happy with it. So that's made life really easy without having to plug things in. So that's I had one of those. That's all I had to drill right through the bottom of the barrels. I use uh, the raw linseed oil as you saw basically to do the both barrels with, with two full coats um, inside, outside, and underneath, pretty much the whole one liter. But that's all. It's only that was only fifteen dollars. So and it went on beautifully, and it came up so nice. I'm really happy with it. So um, I'm going to be doing some more work on, um, as I said, I think I said earlier, um, on a an old wine barrel I've got out there that's still in good nick, um, but it's a bit weather worn. So I'm going to be um, sandblasting that down. Sandblasting. I'm going to be water blasting it down. And um, yeah, and uh, bring that up to spec. I'm going to be making a bar leaner out of that. So I'm looking forward to doing that as a wee project. I'll be doing a video on that. So just some raw linseed oil. So <coughs> the drill, drill bit, linseed oil, and a brush to put it on. You put it on with a rag. Um, and some gauze. This is um, 10 mil or one centimeter um, gauze. And I just cut it into wee squares as you saw it. And I, and I put it on with a um, just with that two nails each end. If I if I had if I could find my um, stapler gun, then I would definitely use my stapling gun. Be a wee bit easier, but there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with the little nails bending them over halfway through, and it is more than fine. Um, and of course, I just had some scissors to cut. Um, these are quite good scissors by the look of um, Scotch scissors. They they work really well. I'm surprised at that, but um, 
yeah, so that's all I needed. And um, so the wine barrels exceeded my expectations on how they turned out. There's something about the craftsmanship, isn't there, about wine barrels, um, whiskey barrels. It's just the way they're made and the, the quality of the wood and the, oh, fantastic. It's all part of it, isn't it? Um, okay, so um, I'll leave it there. So I hope you found this uh, useful. Uh, it doesn't matter whether you're farming, I mean, this is my brew channel obviously, and uh, if you're planting in, um, you don't have to be planting hops, you, anything that you want to plant. People plant small trees in them, you know, shrubs, small fruit trees in them. Um, all sorts of, they're great for anything, if you can get hold of them. But the, the trick is with wine barrels, uh, you need to look after them, because they aren't cheap. They're a great piece of um, craftsmanship. And uh, look after them, and I think my plan is to, um, in a couple of years, maybe, oh, yeah, maybe in two years, two seasons, what I'll do is um, I'll tip all the shit, because oh, I'll be putting shingle in the bottom, then filling it up with compost and uh, potting mix, um, and then putting my rhizomes in. So in a couple of years, I want to replace some of that soil and, and, um, and uh, you know, put some more compost in. So I might actually tip everything out and give it a, a bit of a hose out, and maybe I'll give it another um, couple of coats of um, raw linseed oil. So, cheers everybody, you take care, and, um, and thanks for watching, and please uh, feel free to subscribe, it's all uh, free. Um, feel free to subscribe, it's all <laughs> I'm getting tired. Okay, so cheers, you take care. Slauncher. <laughs>